welcome to the Colin and Furs channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, it's a lovely place to be. Now, a few videos back, I made this jet engine powered scooter for my son. But at the end of the video, I said, there's the kid's version. Now let's make an adult version. That's what we're gonna do today. Cause I've got myself turbo. I think this is off a transit van. I'm not sure. Now this is quite a small turbo. So I don't know if it's gonna be super powerful, but it is gonna sound amazing. Real high pitch. It's gonna whistle like hell. It is gonna be awesome. Let's get cracking. So basically, we've got a flame tube, sits down the end. That little thing I did with the cardboard, so that's got something to slot into, but it's not super tight. Now then, how did I know what measurements to do all this and what uh, dimensions everything had to be? Well, about five years ago, I did a video telling you just how to do that, and it basically all comes from this inlet. You have to measure the diameter of that and then do all sorts of calculations. It's actually pretty simple, because I've managed to do it. So we'll shove that back in there. There's no spark plug in it yet because I haven't got a spark plug and then that will slot in the end there. But next job, we need to put it on a vehicle, which we need to make. Yes, Colin, you do. That's gonna sit somewhere like that. And then we have, as a back wheel, I'm gonna use a go-kart wheel. So we'll slot that somewhere like, somewhere like that maybe, because this thing here is gonna drop into a little oil tank somewhere and then we can have the exhaust plume disappear out the back and then for the front of the scooter i've got a bmx bike that will be like that oh this is gonna make no sense is it <laughs> i'll just start making it <laughs> Born in a mass confusion, born of a motivation. 
Right, you may have noticed I've broken my finger. I say I've broken it, I've broken a little bit of the bone and a bit of metal has come down and smashed the end of it off. So progress on this has slowed down somewhat. But anyway, we've done this, we've mounted the jet. Now this bit of frame here is not just gonna be the frame. Colin's had an ingenious idea. This is also gonna be the oil tank because I kind of thought like, what's the point in having a bit of tube with another bit of tube next to it to house the oil tank, you know? And there's motorbikes out there that do this. My old uh, Suzuki DRZ, that used to run the oil through the frame. So I thought, let's commandeer that idea, it's a good one. So basically, the little outlet tube on the turbo here is gonna drop down into there. And for some reason, you have to have pressure on the inlet, but not on the outlet. So it just drops out the bottom of the turbo and dribbles in. Because when it's on the car, it comes off the turbo and then just goes in the side of the block and drops down into the sump. I don't know why, I'm sure there's somebody that can answer that question, but that's what we've got to mimic here. So it will drop down there, a little air gap, and then at this end, I've not got to that bit yet, have you Colin? No, I've got this little uh, 12 volt, it's a gear pump oil strainer thing. I think it's for like pumping oil out of tanks and stuff like that. Anyway, this is experimental, not used one of these before. So I'm gonna put that at the end here somehow, within the frame, and then we can mount our front of our BMX off that. So that's gonna be the next job. I've also made a lovely little exhaust system to go on the end, look. Look at that, look, we'll bolt that on there. <laughs> so there we are, it's Colin's solution. I think it's looking very nice. Shut up talking about it now, Fuzzy. Build the front bit. jet pretty much made frame made got a little wooden platform check might change it for a bit of checker plate or something in the future I don't know now I'm not sure about the proportions of this thing the back wheel kind of looks diddy and the whole thing's very long do you know what it's one Colin long pretty much exactly how long is your scooter one Colin but you know when you don't plan stuff or draw anything you can end up with things like that happening now, next video, we're going to sort the oil system out. It needs a gas system, it needs a throttle. It just all basically needs to work and we give it a test fire. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. Sorry, progress has been a bit slow. I broke my finger, which is healing nicely. There we are. Colin. <laughs> I might make this bit a bit fatter as well. Ah, just, just do it, Colin. <laughs> <laughs>